Picture this. You just went to the Nike store. You got a brand new pair of J's. You open up the box, you fling out the shoes, you put them on your feet. What are you missing? Well, you're missing that silica gel packet that is inside your shoe box. And we here at 3411 Heaven have partnered with our friends at Dry and Dry, who are the manufacturers of premium quality silica gel desiccant. <laughs> Let's look that one up. <laughs> Whatever that word is pronounced right, it doesn't matter. Desiccant. Desiccant. Jack, stop showing off. Desiccant. Sorry, silicon desiccant. The reason we're here today is to do a little public service announcement and give you a little explanation about how you can reuse that silica gel packet or maybe why you want to consider purchasing some more silica gel packets from Dry and Dry. Either way, it'll be an informative video and I'm excited. So let's get into it. So when you see that silica gel packet come out of your shoe box, you might think, well, what did my mother tell me about this? Well, my mom always said, wow, that's toxic and bad for the environment. When in reality, today we are going to thwart some myths about silica gel packets. First off, are these toxic? No. The reason why they say do not eat or do not try to ingest is because it's a choking hazard. To have one of these packets that could be easily swallowed by a child, small animal, choking hazard. Not toxic, just a choking hazard. We get that. So keep it out of the reach of your baby, pick up that silica gel packet, and realize that this packet might be beneficial for you to keep in use. Well, what can a silica gel packet be used for? Here's my list from our friends at Dry and Dry. A silica gel packet can be used for keeping underwater cameras and cameras dry, dry out a wild cell phone, stop camera condensation, extend the life of razor blades, keep rubber dry, protect photos, protect silver, gardening, protect documents, safe ammo cans, 3D filaments, shoes, bags and clothes, tools and fasteners, pills and vitamins, bulk pet foods, foods, hearing aids. It's a lot of uses, okay? That's too many to tell you. Long story short, if there is an area where there could be some sort of condensation and you need that condensation to not be there because it could wreck something, silica gel packet is for you. Now there is a varying amount of sizes if you decide to purchase these rather than recycling because, in my opinion, there's so many uses for them now, you might just have to go out and purchase some. How do you know what size is right for you? Well, dry and dry with the answer again. On the back of the packet, we learn that we can use a one gram packet for a volume container of 120 cubic inches, all the way up to a 30 gram packet, which is good enough for an uh, area of two cubic feet. Now you mathematicians out there, you know exactly how much that is, so I'll leave that to you. But they gave us four different sizes, and I really wanna show you what's in here, because you probably still don't believe me that it's not non-toxic, and I'm about to prove that to you. So, we are going to undo this packaging, and I don't know if it's going to make a cool sound or not, so here we go. And now, undo the Ziploc bag. And we'll see. A fairly large silica packet. Why? Because we go big here at 3411 Heaven, and this is the 10 gram paper packet. The paper packets are also safe for any type of food related container you may put this in. They do have plastic ones and other different kinds of bags with water indicators built in actually. You can learn more about that on their website. But these ones that they sent us are all food safe, so very cool. I'm going to grab a piece of paper now. We are going to open one of these up. We don't want to get the studio too dirty. I'm just gonna rip it open. And there is a lot of tiny beads. And what is in those tiny beads? Well, let's put a little water on them. See what it does. Now that I'm back in the flash with my water bottle, let's dump some on here. So I'm gonna put a nice little clump together. And then we're just gonna, just gonna give her the old, the old pour. There, oh, there we go. Oh, they're going. Look at that, they're making a, 
Can you guys hear that? It's a crackling sound. Oh, it's going everywhere. That's so cool. You know what that's the sound of? Water absorption. Oh my goodness, that's going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I put too much water on. <laughs> Is this how they make Pop Rocks? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to happen, not gonna lie. They're a little warm. Really? I don't know. So, I don't know how to explain this to you, but... It's basically sand is what comes out of this. This is just falling apart in my fingers. And, uh... It's letting go. Well, it may pop, and you probably don't want that happening to your kids. Do realize that this isn't actually gonna hurt anyone. What would hurt you is the choking hazard if you aren't totally just you know out there and cut open your bag which you shouldn't i wouldn't recommend and you want to reuse these after you have activated them with moisture you can do so by baking them in the oven my personal favorite though is using the defrost feature on your microwave but it does say the clear plastic pellets may melt with high power do not eat or inhale these dry and dry psa don't eat them not toxic don't eat them. Why? Joke. Die. They don't taste good. And they probably taste like Brussels sprouts. They probably taste like... I was expecting to say chicken, but they really taste like nothing at all. And why am I not eating them? Because I'm a responsible adult. And if you want to be a responsible adult and see more entertaining content, you can do so. Clicking that subscribe button dropping us a like for this PSA video, and also commenting down below what you think of this crazy experiment. We'll see you in the next one.